So then, welcome back everybody. Today we've got Space Lord Ethereal. Or Arethial. 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 Space Lord Arethial. Close enough. And he's going to pull up to the plate here in our live lineup. And he's also going to put Push to Talk on for me. Oh, wow. But you are seriously going to have to do that. Oh, there we go. He did it. Yes. Um, I don't know if the ship is still loading. No, the ship is incomplete. That's the reason. Oh, are you actually still building it? Are you actually still building it right now? Yes. I the bloody thing. That's it's cool. And the turrets are still not refit. Well, I don't normally take many work in progresses here. However, we'll accept it on the basis that it's completely black and I can't see anything. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah, we might need to uh, execute uh, some FTL. Execute some protocol six. Yeah. We might need a what? FTL. Yeah. Missiles. There we go. So we've pretty much got the ship loaded in again now. So do you want to fire those again? Or is it on cooldown now? Um, there goes nope. the cluster. Nope. And there goes the mech. So Should are I those missiles supposed to be white? Or are they colored? Just out of curiosity. They're not colored yet. I've not okay. fired. So just taking a little look, see around ski. I can see that. It has much power. Much power. Do you know what it? Do you know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of the Tamino's Revenge. <laughs> the last you know exile warship, like. but with yeah, a cool con tower. Yeah. Really, yeah, way cool since contact. this was made for the last update, the reason why there's those massive power pillars essentially is so that I could have powered the main cannons. Right. But now the uh... I like the bridge. Yes. That took me believe that took me a lot a long time to do. Oh interesting chair. Minimalist design, but you've inset it to the ceiling and it's raised on a proper big area here. That's the captain's chair. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's just cool because he's kind of left the blocks in certain places. You know, he's got yeah. the wedges in. Uh, I like that design. Oh, definitely. It's another way of doing it, isn't it? The ones set in the floor, are like the navigation officers and whatnot. I These are also solid. The pilot's chairs are what's coolest. Look, they're proper down there in the floor. So like pilots don't see anything but computer screens and each other. <laughs> Talk to me, Goose. Okay. Much more interior, many corridors, such lighting. Oh, crew quarters. Such cam bot. Yo. I'm actually going to be color coding the crew quarters, or at least I'm going to be color coding the crew, the crew quarters because it's going to be uh, squadrons of six. So all the ships are going to have their own corresponding colors as well. Nice. That's a definitely a good way to break up the crew quarters. Yep. Maybe that's why they did it on Star Trek like that. The core room is. Just the, brightens uh, the place up. <laughs> I'm going to be having the main, like, rooms and crap out of the ship. They're going to be just right above it. He likes just black. Frankly, I'm too lazy to try and spread them around the ship. Not to mention it'll take up more space. Got some nice ships in the hangar. I like your use of the beacon there on that little bomber or whatever, the fighter. The, uh... The Condor Mark... Yeah, the condor. Yeah, the you got those two beacons. Yeah, the beacons were cool. That is actually too big. I have a, a smaller craft, the Mark III, 
Which we accidentally left behind. <laughs> well, don't worry, we're going straight back there. Yep. I think we're ready yeah, for that Taylor teleport. Warren was the shit that I used to get to the uh, thing with the Mark III. So ignore the little warp shit in the hangar next to the condor. No worries, man. Can't wait to see how this one develops. And like I say, this would be the Eclipse class carrier by Space Lord Aruthiel. And yeah, uh, we're going to get back to the line now. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.